I made an AI assistant that responds to my YouTube comments. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here we are on YouTube and look at these beautiful comments. Hey there me, I am having trouble with some stuff, can you help? As well as, hey yo, thanks for the video, I really appreciate it. And then, above all, what do you think about waifu bots taking over the world? Do you think this is going to happen? And here is my video right here, I turned to be doing the waifu. Let's go ahead and see it in action. Here we have the GUI opened up here, and we're going to go ahead and respond to all of them. So let's go ahead and click generate down here in this bottom right corner. Generate. It's going to generate a response. Generate two. It's going to generate another response and generate three. It's going to generate three responses in three clicks of a button. Wow, that's quick. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the responses. The first one. What do you think about waifu bots taking over the world? Do you think it's going to t this is going to happen? While the idea of waifu bots taking over the world may be a fascinating topic to discuss, as your personal AI assistant, I believe it's important to focus on more practical concerns related to the video content. Let's try to keep the discussion aligned with the content of the video and how it could help improve or impact the lives of our viewers. So that is probably because it must be thinking that I am talking to it, so I've got to do a little bit of prompt engineering for that. But that is the response that it's going to do. This one as well, same thing, it's going to respond this way, and then this one's going to respond this way. And I'm going to add my own approval here, approved by me. Wow, it added my own approval here without it even asking for assist, uh, for me to approve it. So, um, okay, approved, approved by me. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and throw this in there. Let's go ahead and click approve down here, one click. Let's go ahead and click approve down here, two clicks. Let's go ahead and click approve three clicks already. And all, as you can see, all three are green. So let's go ahead and close this out, refresh the page, and then take a look at the comments. Here we go. We have it approved by me. Another one approved by me. And then last but not least, also approved by me. So as you can see, those were three different types of comments. We had a troubleshooting one right here. I want to know the issue, blah, blah, blah. And then we had a, a thank you one. It appreciated it. And then we had this one, a discussion. So how the heck did I do this and why the heck did I do this? So that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And you know, if you want to see more AI content of me creating things, go ahead, leave the channel a follow. It really helps me out and leave a comment. I might have my AI assistant respond if you'd so like and have it approved by me. But let's go ahead and talk about why I did this and what got me thinking about this. Over the past couple of weeks, my YouTube videos have been getting a little bit more views and comments and a lot of them because they're tutorial videos, a lot of the people are having problems and issues with, you know, getting the code running and all that fun stuff. So in order to do that, initially what I live streamed yesterday was I trained a ChatGPT assistant that you could run locally that would be able to help you debug the program. And then I was just going to upload that into the GitHub and users could use that to help troubleshoot. And so since a lot of these comments are kind of along the same lines, they're, they're kind of troubleshooting. I was like, what if I create an AI assistant that instead of the users having to download, I just have it respond to the comments with things that are what I would normally respond with or things that are better because it actually knows like the code that I trained the project on. And that is the birth of the project that I created today, which is that YouTube commenter. Now, such a trivial reason just because I don't want to um, respond, you know, the same thing over and over and over for different troubleshooting reasons. But more than that, I think it's a very powerful tool for single team content creators like myself, because there's only so much time in a week. And if you're in a full time job, you, um, you know, save those save those precious minutes and those um, precious minutes add up to hours that you can work on for creating new content, all that fun stuff. And that is kind of the reason behind me creating this tool. So you may be wondering, how the heck does this tool work? Well, there are a couple of things going on behind the scenes. What I'm using is the Google API, the YouTube data API in order to grab the data from my YouTube channel. First, I have to authorize it and then it scans through all of your most recent videos and then comments and then also replies up to four weeks. You can change that as you please. And that is what it does. It grabs all of that data and then it gives it in an interface that you can respond back with. So it has a table with multiple different columns in it um, with like the user author, uh, 
the author of the comment, it's got the response that you're going to generate, it's got their comment. And then on the right side of the, uh, the graphical user interface, you have two boxes. You have the comments and then you have your response. And then below it, you have a text box where there are the replies. Alrighty. And so we're going to do one thing and we're going to jump into the code to actually see how it works. So even if you don't know any much, uh, too much code, I'm going to do my best to just keep this high level as possible. Um, so we have a class right here that basically creates the um, YouTube comment assistant or agent. I like to call it agent that inside of here you have all of the um, components it needs. You know, it has a graphical user interface. It sets up all of the tables that you need in order to grab all the data from the API. And then it separates it into different functions. So we have like a retrieve comments function. Uh, we have a uh, we have some button functions that, you know, when I click the button on the graphical user interface, it does a certain thing. So we have those buttons do their functionality. We have a get replies function. Um, we have an in initialized database. So basically just creating a database for all of the responses from the Google API and then a couple of other utility functions just to get the code running and working. So here's another one that's important, get the video titles. So it gets all of the video titles from the YouTube channel. Um, and then that's basically it. So it's mainly set up into those ones. It's get replies, get comments, and then get YouTube titles. And so if we go ahead and run it, this is exactly what's going to happen. So. Um, an authorization window is actually going to pop up. And so here we are. This is an authorization window. So I would just click the uh, chat, uh, the Gmail that I'm using, and then it would bring up this screen right here. Google has, hasn't verified this app, but I would click continue and then just go ahead and click continue as well because I know I designed this, so it's not, doesn't have any malicious intent. So once authorization is done, I just go ahead and close back out and then we'll see a window pop up inside of the screen where it's going to be the Python GUI. And so here it is, as you can see, the comments that are green are the ones that I previously responded to. So that's what you saw here. Um, I was playing around early. I did respond to one of my viewers, uh, with this, um, and yeah, so we have an author's column, which is me here in this case, one, two, three, we have a date. So date of the comment, we have a video title. Um, and then we have the, the comment of what actually happened. The response here, comment ID, video ID and replies. So these comment and video IDs are necessary in order to know where it is to respond back to for the, on Google and. Uh, a couple of other functionality things are, you know, the responses, I can edit the responses right here. So I just double click into it. And then as you can see in this top right corner, we have those, those comments and responses that I was talking about earlier. And then right here, you know, we have the replies. So these are all the replies that you'll see in this column here. I just have them down in this text box. And if I edit anything in this window, it actually doesn't update the table here. So. Uh, let's just say I did this. It's it's back to normal. See, because I don't have it now. This refresh button in theory is supposed to refresh it with new and the newest and latest comments and replies. However, I think the functionality of it is still a little bit broken, so I do have to fix that. But other than that, it works really well. Um, I can change the reply mode, so the latest reply is going to take all of the um, items in here. So it's going to take all of this and then it's going to take the comment and then send all of that information over to chat GPT to generate a response. So that is what happens when I click toggle reply mode and click generate. Um, let me just give you a quick example. I'm going to go ahead and regenerate this response. So I'm gonna click generate. And then if we take a look at this top right window right here, we can see that the response is going to change when I click it. And so we did see it change. And then if I change the toggle reply mode, click OK, um, generate a new response here. And then let's just go ahead and refresh by clicking another row and clicking back here. Now we have something different. And so now it's 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 approving itself. So uh, I just go into the responses, scroll over to here and then, you know, do approve by me. There's probably a better way to do that, but, um, you know, this, I just kind of hard coded into the prompt, 
but I could totally just add it after the fact um, in an automated fashion by just clicking a button to have it approved. But that's not in the functionality yet. And that's it. I click the approved button down here and it'll send it on over to YouTube. And that's what you saw in the beginning. So if you're wondering how you modify how the assistant responds, well, all we have to do is go into our settings.txt file right here, and you can see the instructions that I gave it. You are my personal AI assistant that manages comments on my videos by responding to them. As you may know, there are a variety of reasons people comment, such as gratitude, question asking, discussion, troubleshooting, etc. You are to determine what type of comment they are leaving and then respond accordingly. And then I give it an example state here. User, I tried doing what you showed in the video, but it's not working. Can you please help? And then an example response. I'm sorry that you're having some troubles. Would you be able to narrow down with what you need help with? Here are some things you can try. And then it would, you know, list some things here. And then I have a here is their comment. And so this is just substituting the user comments in the code. And then I have one last bit of instruction. You must start each response with Jared's AI assistant and end it with a new line after your response of approved by. So those are the th two things you were seeing, the Jared's AI assistant and approved by part. All right. And so that's going to be the end of today's video. A little bit of a, a brief backstory for it, some showcase of the code and it, it in action. And let me know if this is interesting to you guys, because, um, you know, I will be putting some of it on GitHub and whatnot, but I got to flesh out some things as well. Leave a comment down below what you think about it. Um, maybe I'll use my AI to respond back, but you know, I, I do. I will also review it as as well. So you'll be getting both in the in the replies. Um, and yeah, it's pretty interesting. I can see more things like this coming out and uh, it's going to be today's video. See you later.